Kathy with three minute piano lessons. So today I want to pick up where we left off in the last video of uh, the song Get Moving. And before we do that, I just want to, uh, I've made up this board again for you that are just joining us and checking out these videos. I'd encourage you to go back to video number one where we learn our finger numbers because even in this video, we've made a hundred videos, 101, and uh, we're still talking finger numbers. So we use the finger numbers a lot. In fact, in these chord inversions, I've been prompting you to use finger two. So, uh, and again, there's only seven keys on the piano. They just keep going over and over again, all the way up the keyboard. It's C, D, E, F, G, A, B. So, uh, and I'm showing you middle C here and where middle C, what it looks like between the G clef and F clef. It just kind of hangs there and has its own special line. So this is just kind of a quick review. Like I said, uh, an easy way to find D is in between these two black keys. That's how we did it. So go back to the earlier videos and you can pick it up there. These are guide notes and I've always used guide notes. It really helps in learning piano. So, um, yeah, and again, we're talking chord inversion. So let's go to the song. The last song I put together was called Get Moving, and we talked about it last video, like I said. And I was starting talking about these, uh, the fingering for the left hand. Uh, and of course, the right hand comes in as well. And so I wanted to go on down to, let's go down to measure number. Uh, Actually, let's go to measure number four and talk about four and five because you can see the left hand just repeats itself. So when that happens, you would use the same exact fingering. And for instance, like right here, I did not put a fingering in. So you would just use this as a guideline. I'd put finger four on the G and finger one here. And as you play other people's music or uh music that's been produced and written out professionally, you'll notice fingering in there if it's written for piano. So let's talk about now, um, of course, for the right hand then, all we did was take the C chord, middle C, E, and G, and then we inverted it, first inversion, and put the C on the top. That's what we did for those first two lines here, first two rows. So let's talk about, it would be measure number seven now down here. And then I switch and the melody line then is in the uh, right hand, where up here it's been in the left hand. So now the, mel the right hand is working. Uh, we have a broken C chord there. And I prompt you with the correct fingering. And here you'd put finger one on the G, uh, or that's an E because we're gonna invert the C chord. And then finger two on the G. So it's very important.